we know that we have passed from death to life because we love each other. We know that we have passed from death to life because we love each other. Greeting guys, it is me here with a message of the kingdom of heaven. Hey guys, here I want us to speak about the word death. You know, uh, most of the time, you know, when you go to funerals and pastors or people preach, they, they talk about death as if it's a physical thing. Guys, death is not a physical thing. Believe me when I tell you, I want you to look at the word from Jesus' point of view. I don't want you to look at the word from the people's point of view or our point of view, but look at the word from Jesus' point of view. When daddy speaks of death, guys, he's not speaking of an event. So death is not an event, but it is a state of being. Right? I'll repeat that. Death is not an event, but it is a state of being. How so? It's simple, guys. I don't know. It's not that I'm teaching, you know. It's just that, guys, I've been preaching. I already have teachings, but I'm trying to connect because it's the same thing, the same message that, that is wrapped around the kingdom of heaven, you know. But there are things that I want to highlight, you know, so that you will also be convinced and understand certain things because the, the, the word of God, guys, is very deep. You know, I'm not trying to interpret it. Mm -mm, I ain't doing that, but I'm just going straight to it and come with what it says. You know, nevertheless, here we're talking about the fact that death, guys, is not an event, but death is a state of being. You know, when a person dies physically, that person is passing on to the next realm, right? But now I want to speak about the word death. Uh, so we, we we need to go back to the beginning. That's why I love the message of the kingdom of heaven because it takes us back to the beginning. So I want us to go back to the beginning and look at Adam. He's put there in the Garden of Eden, right? And while he's put there, he's spiritually alive, right? And then he's given the word of God, guys. We keep saying the same thing so that we, you, you will understand this thing. From now on, you start looking at the Bible from it, guys, from a different point of view, you understand? So, Adam is spiritually alive. And then he disobeys the word of God. Now, because human beings were wired or were designed to live by the word of God because we came from him, you know. So, when Adam dies spiritually, what happens? He becomes spiritually dead. I mean, when he disobeys the word of God, he becomes spiritually dead. He dies spiritually. He's no longer the likeness of God, but he is now the likeness of Satan. Hence, he is now the son of Satan. When Jesus was speaking, I think it was... The Gospel of John 8, where he was telling the Israelites that they were the children of, of Satan, and they were angry with that. You know, Jesus was actually speaking about that, about that fact that right there in the beginning, you know, many of them were believing that, oh, we are the children of Abraham and all and what was and what. And Jesus says, if you were children of Abraham, you will love me. You understand? You will believe me. You will take what I'm saying. You understand? Now, so Adam is put there in the Garden of Eden, right? And he disobeys the word of God and then dies spiritually. So when he dies spiritually, he became dead. That's why when you read the gospel, I mean, the letter uh, to the Romans that Paul wrote, he says that through one man, all died. You understand? He was speaking about the spiritual dead, not physical dead, because if you read the word, you'll find that Adam died after 930 years. You understand? So the guy did not die physically. It was speaking of the spirit. His spirit died and I was still there in Adam's loins. You were still there in Adam's loins. So you also died spiritually with him. So you were born spiritually dead. I was born spiritually dead. He disconnected from the kingdom of heaven. So I was, you know, I, I was connect, I mean, I was disconnected from the kingdom of heaven. You were disconnected from the kingdom of heaven. So you, you, you were dead. So being dead is a state of being is not an event. You understand? So I want you to look at death from that point of view, particularly in this podcast, you understand? Because we're speaking about death and I've been speaking so much about death and death, you know, uh, most of the time when you go to these funerals, you know, you the way they speak about death, you, you, it, it's obvious that they are speaking about physical death, 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 you know, and there, there is um, a part where Paul speaks about death. He says that death, where is your power? 
you understand where is your sting you understand he says that death has no power anymore yet you find people you know speaking about physical death and they say there is no power they, they don't understand what he meant what paul meant when paul said death has no power he was speaking about spiritual death anymore because jesus has made the way you remember i said that the thing uh the problem that adam caused right there in the beginning was too huge was too big that no human being could solve it only a god could solve that problem guys it was so huge it was so big so only a human being i mean only daddy you understand it was so big that it was in the god level you know so the word guys i mean guys the word of god guys is so deep is so guys it's so hard that the bible guys is available everywhere on earth you can just walk and you'll come across the bible it, it's even cheap it's even free of charge you know you can get it for free because it's all over the place and the guys the reason it is free is because it's a need jesus guys make sure that the things that are in need they are free because not everyone will have money in this kingdom so he made sure that the things that we need they are either cheap affordable or they are free of charge those that are expensive they are not necessarily needs they are just ones but the ones that are in need jesus made sure that you will find them cheap affordable or they will be free of charge so that's why his word is 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 free guys nobody prayed and said god we're praying please make make sure that we become spiritually alive why we didn't know that we were spiritually dead you understand i mean guys i was saying that uh the israelites was given the law we're given the law the grace and truth came through jesus meaning the israelites didn't know that, that they were spiritually dead the israelites didn't know that they were uh they that their flesh was dead they didn't know that the world is dead as well you understand because they were given the law so nobody prayed that prayer and said father god we want uh you we want you to bring someone to give us the blood because nobody knew that problem was so big that only the gods you know anyone in a god level will understand guys as much as i hate satan and the guy is not in the god level he was just an angel who wanted the throne of god and wanted to become god but he is wiser than you satan is wiser than you satan is wiser than me you understand my wisdom guys does not come from me on my own i that's why i take the word of jesus because that's where i get wisdom from you understand i take what he says you know and the guy is, is the light you know so i believe what he says and do what he says because he is the light you know but satan is wiser than me just me me on my own me without jesus satan is wiser than me so i can't fight satan without jesus because satan is wiser than me you know so as much as he is not a god he's somewhere up in that level so he says things he knows things that's why the bible says that demons believe and they shudder it's because satan cannot not believe because the guy knows jesus the guy knows who jesus is you know and he believes jesus is word you understand what i'm trying to say so at the end of the day what adam did right there in the garden of eden guys was just too much was too big only did he could so nobody prayed for that nobody asked him uh, god please give us someone to to bring blood I mean guys we could not even come up with the blood because here on earth everyone came through Adam who was spiritually dead meaning all our blood was tainted so no one could give us a pure blood you know so only daddy could come up with something like that take an old man I mean guys Jesus is 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 millions zillion years old and is put in a womb and is like a baby that is a miracle him being put in in a womb is not a miracle your child you I mean guys you have sex and you become pregnant that is not a miracle i know it looks like a miracle but it's not a miracle you know the way it is like that they made sure that it's like that you know yes it's a miracle to some extent not fully you know but the mere fact i mean guys adam must put in the flesh so to me those aren't miracles you know but jesus because the guy had already been alive and the guy was old an old man grandpa 
Jesus is 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 grand 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 grand. grand. <laughs> the guy is so old, over a billion years old, but he's put in a womb and he's a baby, you know. So that is a miracle. That one is a miracle, you know. So no one could have thought of that problem. No one could have sorted that problem. The problem of death, guys. So death is not a, a, an event. A person passing away today, the person is not dead. The person is just left to another realm. You know, if they if they obeyed daily after hearing his word and after becoming uh, spiritually alive, they go and sleep under the altar. You find it in Revelation 9. They go and sleep under the altar, you know, waiting for the redemption, right? But if they didn't, they obviously go there to Hades, you know? So death is a state of being. So if you don't accept that blood, because it was in your fault that you died, it was simple atoms. You understand? So now you're spiritually dead. And if you leave this realm like that, you'll, you'll never be spiritually alive. So in other words, you are dead, but you're now passing from this realm to the other realm. But you are dead already because death is a state of being. You, you understand what I'm trying to say? So I, I want you to look at death in this podcast from that point of view. That death is not a, an event, but it's a state of being, a state of man. If, if you come across a person who's never been saved, you are coming across a person who, are, who is dead. You know, as I've been saying also, our flesh is dead. After Adam, guys, our flesh died. It's still dead. Nothing happens to it even if we do get saved. You know, it's just dead. The world is dead. You understand? So if you've never received the blood of Jesus, you are dead. You're just dead. For instance, if I am spiritually alive, if I, if I accepted the blood and you don't, that means me and you are different races. I'm alive, but you are dead. Yet we are both breathing and speaking, but you are dead and I'm alive. You know, so it's important, guys, to look uh, at these things from the point of view, you know, of Jesus. Because the Bible, guys, Jesus doesn't care that, oh, they don't understand. He just speaks. That's why he speaks in parables. That's why he speaks in dark sayings. It's because he doesn't care that, oh, they don't understand. He just speaks because to him, that's what it is. You know, if right now I lose someone I love, friend, family, you know, whoever, to me, I'll, 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 I'll cry and be sad that I am losing a person. But if that person is alive and they pass on from this, uh, from this earth, Jesus is happy. Why? Jesus is receiving his sheep. You know, while I'm crying here, Jesus is happy. But if the person is dead, meaning the person has never been uh, saved, and even if they were saved, maybe they... They didn't obey the word of God. So that person is dead, right? Even if they did get saved, they die again spiritually if they don't obey, right? If that person dies, I am losing someone. I will never see them again. But Jesus is also like, well, I can't gain this person because this person is going to hate this. You understand? So death, guys, it's, it's, it's important to understand death from this two point of view because death, guys, is twofold. You know, yes, we call it death here, which when one dies physically, but we have to look at things from the point of view of Jesus. Guys, it's important, you know, we keep bringing up these terms as well for people to get, because you see, guys, with the teachings that are there at Anko, you know, those are for people who already belong to the kingdom of heaven. But here, these teachings, I mean, these uh, preachings, the message of the kingdom of heaven, they are for the world, you know. So even the person who... Is, 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 is listening to them who has never been saved will now understand what is dead because now they know that, oh, then I'm dead. No, they will realize, oh, I've never been saved. Then I'm dead. Whether they take it or not, but they now know, oh, well, I am dead. You know, what they do about it, 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 it is their prerogative, but now they will know because these ones, they are for everyone. It's the teachings that are for the people who belong to the kingdom of heaven. So they also know that, Oh, because of Adam, I was born dead. So I am dead. Let me take the blood of Jesus because I need to be alive. 
you know, and then they also become alive, guys. So at the end of the day, guys, we are going to keep bringing up these terms as well. Keep bringing up these terms as well to put everything together, guys, to put everything together because we need to understand everything because, guys, that is what is deep and is very, very hard to understand. Thank you.